Hey everybody, I'm Midge. And I'm Madge. And, and this, this is, is Midge and Madge, Madge Mingle. Mingle. And we are mingling live today. Woo-hoo! We are so excited. We are. About this Beacon live event. Yes, Beacon Makers. And we are working with so many fun companies. And yay! We're here. We are. We might have been a couple minutes late. We apologize. We're sorry. I mean, it's us. You know what? Technical difficulties. Let's yes. blame it on that. I was going to. Okay. Yes. That's good. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to get rolling right now. We're going to get rolling, but I do want to say, if you see me kind of turning away and looking, it's because I have another iPad right here, so I can actually read your comments, and I can um, talk to you while Midge is teaching. Yes, so please comment and talk to us, because we will answer back. Yes. She's going to tell me who's talking to us, and then I get to talk to you. Correct. Yep. You are. Yes. Okay, so we are working with, we mentioned, all of the fabulous Beacon Adhesives, and then we have Die Cuts with a View and Deco Art. Yes. And we just, we say super a lot. We have been told, one time we're going to have a contest, and you can count how many times we say super, and we're going to give a prize. Not today, but we are going to say super a lot. Morning. You can count how many times we say super, and we're going to give a prize. Not She's today. listening to us. Oh, to there's a little delay. Morning. She forgot to turn the sound down. You know, that's a Madge thing. But Apologies. We're, we're good to go now. <laughs> okay, so we are doing designer bottles today. And what made us want to do this is we've seen a few around, but we were shopping and I just redid my daughter's room. And there was a bottle I really, really wanted to buy to sit on her shelf, but it was $23. I had to slap her hand and say, no Madge, you can't. She did. She did slap my hand and I had to put it back on the shelf and said, we can make that. So today, I'm going to make that very bottle for a lot cheaper than $23. Yes, and you know what, friend? I have to say, Donna says hello. Hey, Donna. Stacy said hello. <gasps> Hi, Stacy. Amanda's here. You know oh, what? We gosh, are so excited. Hi, Amanda. You know what, you guys? Give us the thumbs up and give us those hearts. We love that. We do. We, we do. We heart hearts. We do. <laughs> we do. We do. We heart hearts. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. So let's get started. Let's. But very first, I want Madge to tell us her very favorite way she found good stuff. I'm sure some of you have seen it, but I, I usually just soak my bottles and scrub the labels off. Madge found some excellent stuff that works super fast, and she's going to show you. Well, I kind of went out in my husband's garage and dug around in there, and I found this awesome stuff, you guys. It's called Goof Off. Goof Off. Now, I do have to say... We do that a lot. We goof off. We do. <laughs> we do. And so it's perfect for us. But uh, this stuff you want to make sure that you use in a well-ventilated area. No huffing the goof off. Right, because it is very (laughs) strong. And woo, buddy, I made the mistake of doing it indoors. And my house smelled like goof off for quite some time. She called and was telling me how much she loved me, and it was crazy. Crazy, right? I'm just kidding. That didn't happen. (laughs) It could have, though. So make sure you use it in a very well-ventilated area. Yes. And um, I loved it because all you do is it's, you just take it off and you spray it on and you use a paper towel and it wipes right off. Now, I also used a little bit of a scrub brush, like a, just a sponge that you get like at the dollar store, mm-hmm. just to wipe off the remaining residue. But you can always run it under tap water also after you spray it and your bottle is clean as a whistle. But that sounded so nice to just wipe it off with a rag because usually I have like my little exacto and I'm like, scraping for hours so and then sometimes you actually scratch the glass right and that's not fun it's no fun so right. goof off people it's a secret tip goof off for yes stacy it is toxic <laughs> yes yes. <laughs> yes it is yes oh we miss stacy we do and Rhonda's now joining us hey Rhonda. hey love it okay okay do you want to show your cute done one first or what 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 order are we going in? I yeah. will. I'll show my done okay. one so then I can kind of talk to these peeps while okay. we're doing that. How's All that? right. So Madge has a really gorgeous one that she did. So here is my bottle that I made. And I don't know if you can see, I'm gonna kind of lean forward here. Do you want me to Vanna and you can see what yes, you use? Yes, Vanna. Like, Thank you. Do, do, do. Look. There can you, you see go. what's on there? What does the box say? Wah, 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 wah. Yep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, but tell us so what you used. What please. I used, obviously, is just a glass bottle, and I used this fabulous paint from Deco Art. It's the multi surface satin. Yes. And I used the color Ballerina. And um, I really, really loved the light pink because you know me, I love pink. She loves her pink. So I, um, I did not primer my bottle or anything, but I did. 
it did take a couple layers of paint um, for me to get where I wanted it to be. Now, it could have been less if you wanted it um, to be a little bit more see-through, but I wanted my bottle covered, so I did a couple more layers. And then I just took, this has been well-loved, so no judging. <laughs> this is my sanding file here. Uh, looks like I need to replace these, maybe. I'm going to, while you keep talking, I'm going to just try to see. You okay. can see kind of where she just sanded, sanded right. to make it look a little bit worn. A little worn. Mm -hmm. And then I used the fabulous um, DecoArt Metallic Luster. And I really like this. This is the coral color. And what I did is I put a little bit on my finger. And I'll show you. It's really a thick that cream. Really pretty cream. Mm -hmm. It kind of reminds me of Utterly Smooth. <laughs> it does. But you wouldn't want to put this on your No. I mean, I do like because it's pink, but... <laughs> but normal people should not do that. Right. And so I just took um, a little bit and rubbed it on my bottle. And it was a little rich for what I wanted. And so what I did is I just took um, a paintbrush and I put it in water. And I just ended up painting over top of it. It's like a really over top of it. kind of... In the light. So we will also have some pictures. We'll have some still yeah, yeah, pictures yeah. of it. And it will also be on the Beacon blog so you can check them out. All Everything that we're doing, we will have some photos so right. you can check those out. Yep. And I actually really liked how it turned out after I put um, that um, coral luster on. And then, very simple to decorate, you guys. I just bought these fun little charms. Just got them at, where did we go get them? Michael's. Michael's. These ones are from Michael's. We got them at Michael's and I used the fabulous, um, oh, sorry, three in one. Three in one. By Beacon Glue. And I love it because it held very well and it's obviously very strong. Because that fox is kind of heavy. It is. And it's holding on there he really is, And well. he's kind of, he's actually hollow. So it wasn't like I could just glue the whole back mm -hmm. on there. I just had to go around the edges. So I used this for that. And then I wrapped some twine around it, stuck the back again with a three in one. Mm -hmm. Same with the lace. And then I just got my little knob also at Michael's yep. and I just glued it on the top. And that is how I made this bottle. And I love it and it's fabulous. Yes. Oh, and Michelle says, hi, Stacy, where did I get my cute bottle? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> We never have a shortage of bottles. We don't. We love to repurpose. We do. And so we use them the first time, and then we use them the second time. Yes. <gasps> yes. But I do want to say this. Don't ever buy your bottles. And I, I, I mean, you can, but use anything, you guys. You can use a mustard, one of those Dijonese. Is that what it Dijon. Has? Dijon, mm -hmm. there we go. Mustard bottles out of your fridge. Or maybe you were thinking mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. <laughs> I mean, you could just, just think outside the box, but you also can go to um, any, any restaurant that serves alcohol or anything, and you can actually ask them if they have any bottles. I have done that before mm -hmm. um, in Park City, and they gave me a huge box full of wine bottles and just some other things. So I would recommend on the thrifty side of things, you know, do that and just have some backups. That's yeah. what I would say, yeah. Stacey. Unless you see like a really cool shape, like DI bottle. Right. Or, or you know, right. like, like this. I'm going to show a little bit later, but that's like, okay, I got it at the dollar store. I did buy that one, but it was a dollar. But still, yeah. And, and it's a different shape. That's yes. why I bought it or yeah. else I wouldn't have paid. And you just be thrifty about it. You don't need to spend a big gazillion dollars. Because they can be expensive. They can. Really expensive. They can. Mm -hmm. Sweet. So that is this bottle here. So I'm going to set this to the Ta -da. side. Ta-da. I'm okay. Dana. All right. And you're welcome, Stacy. I love that you did the tears and the kissy face. <laughs> I love that. Thanks. Mwah. Mwah. Okay, so I, yes, am I going to start? I would love it if you okay. could start. Midge is going to get started. And please don't remember, I'm not trying to be rude if I'm looking down. It's because I'm seeing all of those fabulous hearts that you're yes. giving us. And, and those thumbs up. So exciting. You know what? And I love that. And I'm going to talk also as Midge is going to start. Go okay. ahead, friend. Go ahead. Cut me off at any time. Okay. I First, I'm going to show you. We have <laughs> two different kinds here. And... This one is more frosted. We didn't spray this frost. This bottle just comes frosted like this. And this is the clear bottle. Now for the one I'm gonna be making for you guys, this, this coral color, which I use just the regular um, DecoArt Americana, the coral blush paint, just plain acrylic paint on this bottle. This was a frosted bottle. And I only did one coat on my bottle and I'll show you. You can kind of see the brush strokes a little bit, but that's how I like mine. And yes. I was amazed, one coat. One you guys, coat. One. Okay, mine, <laughs> mine took about five, but there again, it depends on preference. Yes. 
Yes, okay. and they're a little slightly different kinds right. of paint also. Both yes. Decorate Americana, but multi-surface versus plain acrylic. Right. We wanted to show you the difference really about mm -hmm. the different paints. Yes. Yes. And so this was a frosted bottle. I'm going to come back to this one in a minute. I love that color, don't you? It's my fave. Yes. And along with the other color I'm going to do. Yes. <laughs> my two faves. And then this one, obviously not frosted. And I'm going to paint this one and we will see a difference. Melissa wants to know, um, it looks nice. Do you have to seal it? Do you have to seal your bottles? You know what? I did not seal mine. I will tell you this. The paint will scratch off. So if you would like to use a sealer, um, and I wonder if maybe even the deco art varnish would work. It I would. have not. I think, I, it, would I think it would work great. I did not seal mine because I don't care if it scratches a little because I like the more like Warm. used rustic-y look. But you definitely could seal your bottle if you don't want to scratch. Yes. And now I'm going to paint this one, my other favorite color. Hey, our friend Tiffany joined. <gasps> Hi, Tiff. Hey, when are you going to call us? <laughs> okay, so here we go. And this one, now I'm going to use the multi-surface paint on this one, and it's the Soft Jade. Which oh that gosh. is a very pretty color, I must say. Yep. Yes, it is. You're welcome, Melissa. You are welcome. <laughs> okay, and I, like I said, I love the brush strokes in my bottles. I like that look. Madge likes a little bit more solid of a look. We need tons more paint. But so, and I am not careful because like I said, on these ones, I like them to look like, well, an old mess really pretty much. But that's okay. That's, I, I love that too. But I'm going to, as she's doing this, I'm going to point out, um, make sure you guys protect your surface at home. Yes. We have a little bit of a, uh, like a splat mat here that we're working on because you don't want to ruin your countertop or your tabletop or whatever it is you're working, working on because quite frankly, that would suck, right? It would. It would. I am going to say this really quick. You probably do though. I did care a little bit about this okay. long strokes, probably like make sure you get, if not, you have like all these little marks, weird marks. marks. Yeah. So just make sure that you're going to do long strokes like okay. this. And Melissa, um, you were wondering where we can get these paints and do they come in a set? You know, we were able to get our paints. Um, you can get them at Michael's. Mm -hmm. um, you can get them at Hobby Lobby. Uh, you could get them at Joann's. Anywhere in the painting department um, where they have, like, their acrylic paints. And you guys, um, they are so cheap. You they can are. get every color in the, rainbow, in the rainbow. And every finish. And we... we I even them. got a couple on sale, I think. I think I got a couple on sale for, like, 49 cents. Yes, we did. And I think they're, they're regularly, like, what, a dollar fifty-nine, a dollar something like that. So they're actually pretty cheap, Melissa. But, and I wish they came in a set. Wouldn't that be fun? But um, as cheap as they are, you know what? Yeah, it doesn't, you, you don't, you can buy every one and it's still super cheap. And it's still super cheap. So I hope that answers your question. Well, this yes. particular blend here was made in Utah. I'm just finding out. <laughs> well, my word, it is a Park City, Utah bottle. It is. Loving it's that. It's even more special in my heart now. And hey, we have to say hello to Jennifer. Hi, Jennifer. We are so excited that you're joining us. And we are loving the hearts, you guys. Thank oh, my you, goodness. Thank you. You guys are such okay. awesome sauce. I'm not okay. going to keep wasting your time painting this bottle, but I'm going to stick my finger in here. And I don't, I usually cover the tops with something too, so I'm not like super particular about these. Okay, but as you can see, I'm going to let this dry for a second before I really hold it up and show you. But I clearly have brush strokes, which I don't care. I love them. But maybe in a minute I'll do another coat just to show you. But this took really well. I'm surprised. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. this is really quite... Yes, solid. It is for just being on regular glass. It is. And now I'm going to take a. Hello. I'm going to take the frosted one just and do one one swipe maybe. Okay. And just show them the uh, difference. You know, yes, please do. Here it and is. And see if there even really is a difference, or if we just thought that there was. But there there is a little bit of a difference. Hey, we have our free our sweet friend from Canada is joining uh, us. Hi, Lynn or Sherry. Oh, Sherry. <laughs> But it's sure. we have so many Hi. friends in Canada, you know what? Obviously. And we've met them all through crafting, so we, we are have. so lucky. We have hello, and Hi, we Sherry. miss you. And Christy's here. Hi, Christy. You know what, Christy? Better late than never. You know what? It's, we love it's that. It's okay because I haven't really done anything exciting. Okay, so here is kind of the difference. Frosted bottle, which we didn't spray the frost. You can buy spray frost. We right. didn't. Came frosted, or not frosted, and you can tell. Um, kind of more brush strokes on the not frosted. Okay. Yes, and Rhonda says, yes, the frosted takes the paint better. It does take mm -hmm. it a little bit better. It's, it's almost like you would prime your bottle, I, I would say. Yeah. Um, with the frost. Right. 
Um, but like, again, we want to make sure that we clarify, we didn't frost the bottle, it came that way. Yes. Um, but you definitely can. I have done bottles before where we've done primer and other things. Yeah, yeah. I mean, right? it, like we said, and you can get so many different looks. Even using the same paints, you can get a million different looks. Yes. I'm going to go to this other one that I already did. Okay. This little tiny cutie here. One second. Lindsay? Oh, Lindsay said hello. And Kelly says hello. Hi, Lindsay. Hello. And Kelly. Okay, sorry. No, you're good. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay, so this one was just a tiny little bottle I did, and I used the Deco Art, the Americana, um, this lovely gold. It's the gloss enamel. And I also, I did like two quick coats. I didn't even wait for it to dry. I painted all the way around, painted all the way around again, and this was what I got. I was going to say <laughs> zoom in because that bottle <laughs> is gorgeous, you guys. And I loving it. I used some of the die cuts. I want to say maps. I'll show you. Yes, maps, text, and ledgers. I love this pad. It has so many different things to use, and all this stuff is so in style right now. But this is the paper I used. I used a little piece of the, a map in here. We love die cuts with a view. We do. We, we do. do. We big heart them. We did. <laughs> I, well, do. We do big heart them. If I had a big heart, oh, that's what I'm going to do for our next class. I'm going to have big a big hearts. heart and a thumbs up. Nice. Yeah. We're going to do it. Do it. Okay, so I just cut out a little piece of paper and used the... Do I have it sitting here? I hope I do. Where's the decoupage? All right here. And the it beacon is. decoupage. It's a big bottle. I don't it know is. how we missed it. I don't know either. And I just decoupage the paper to the bottle. You can cut whatever size you want. And then I had a little Eiffel Tower charm. I think I got this one at Michael's mm -hmm. on sale. And then, easy, just some little trim I already had in my stash. And I used jute also to tie on some little charms. And some of these came from Hobby Lobby. Some of them came from Michaels. I collect these as well. She's a collector of many things. <laughs> I am. But I'm going to say this. When my room was packed up and I needed to make a bottle, I knew exactly where to go because she has so many little <laughs> trinkets and fun, yummy little goodies that I could choose from. She didn't even know that I took them. I have a problem or a few problems. <laughs> we all do, right? I mean, got problems, Midge Madge does. The first step. It's admitting it. It and is. And I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Then I, I had another cute charm and I had the little coral color and I just glued it on. Instead of sticking a knob on this one, it had the cute cork topper. So I just glued that on top. And that was my bottle. I, you might have already asked this, but this is just me asking um, to verify again. How many coats of paint did you use on your little bottle? I did two. And like I said two. again, this okay. was a different deco art Americana, but it's the gloss enamel. Okay. So Perfect. it's different than the other kinds that we're using, but it seemed to work just fine. You would want to do, uh oh, someone's laughing, but you'd want to do more coats if you don't like the brush strokes. That's where we differ. Our sweet friend, Stacy. Uh -oh. We love you, Stacy. Hi, She Stacey. said, <laughs> Yes, yes, we are all special. Uh, oh. And I have to say this, Kelly. Kelly's She's asking. Special. She did. Oh. Um, let's see. Are you in your studio, Madge? Yes. This is her fabulous studio. But this is now our recording studio. It is. So it it's is. Midge's studio, too. It's our studio. Oh. Really, it's like Pokemon Go. She just walks across to the Pokemon stop, and here we are. <laughs> We're here. Yep. Yep. Okay. So, but thank you, Kelly. Thank you. Okay, I painted. I showed you the difference of those. Yes. This one's done. So I'm going to go back to this bottle that is already dry. I painted this a little while ago. And like I said, one coat, but it went on really well, I think. It's pretty dark. A few brush strokes. That's just the way I like it. It's a beautiful color. As you can tell, Midge loves gold, mint, and a beautiful, I want to call it salmon, but that's not the color. It's coral. Coral. Yep. And I love them too, but I'm still partial to pink. Just me. Coral's in the pink family. It is. <laughs> okay, I'm holding that there so my bottle okay. doesn't roll. Here we go. Stacy, no, okay. I haven't done a tour yet. That is on the calendar. It's on the agenda. <laughs> okay, I used another cute piece of the map from the die cuts pad that I showed you. Maps, text, and ledgers. Maybe hold it one more oh, time just for those this. that are just joining you guys, in. And look how thick. There's so many cute things in this pad. So and can I say this? I don't know if they're still on sale. Oh, it's a yes. new week. But Joann's had these pads on sale for, was it $9.99? Yes, they were on sale for $9.99. But then you got to use your coupon on top of and that. And I believe it was 60%, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. We were uh, like, holy moly. Needless to say, we had quite a bit to our stash that we, day. We did. <laughs> but you know what? That's okay. And right? we didn't go for that. But, you know, when you see a sale, you take part. Right. <laughs> okay. So now I'm going to use the Beacon Decoupage. And I just cut a little rectangle out of the map paper. And Midge is so prepared, always. 
Well, She's not scrambling around. Oh, she has this got it going far. on. <laughs> I love that. We're just going to go like this. Okay. Whoopsie, I overshot the paper just a little bit. That is why we use a mat. That's why we use a mat. Yeah. yeah. Super. Okay, now I can do this. And then I like to take a brush so it's even and I just sponge brush to cover the whole paper. She Boop. even has her tweezers because that, that's they're, how she rolls. They're my important tool. Okay. There. Now I'm just going to roll it onto the bottle. About there. Should be good. I have to say, I really love the fast drying, the decoupage. But it goes Beacon. so smooth and it doesn't make my paper bubble. I'll show you. Usually your paper's a little bit wet and this decoupage feels like it's gonna make your paper really wet and hard to work with. No, smooth right on there. Love it. it. Love it, love it. It is because like you just said, it is wetter and so you feel like, uh oh, oh buddy, I've used way too much. Mm -hmm. But you, it, it works perfectly and it drives so my fast. Overspray. Drives. Oh my goodness. Uh, you can tell I have not had a full Diet Coke yet. It's, it's halfway full and it's sitting right to the side <laughs> of me. So, I'll be a little bit more on top of the game later this evening. <laughs> okay. Why not dry for just a second? It's actually really, I mean, it's okay, but I just want to make sure. So, while that dries for just a second, we're going to talk just about a couple of the things that we used and that you can just gather up out of your stash. So, we talked about like trims. I have a million different just trims around my house. Okay. You can use. I have to say, bye, Amanda. She's gonna sh oh. see us and look at the pictures later because right. she bye, needs Amanda. to go. And then, real fast, Sherry said not to enable, but a great uh -oh. place to find charms cheap is Claire's Jewelry Store <gasps> in the ten for ten section. Oh my stars! I never even thought so about that. So she says she has found so many great trinkets for very cheap. We're going there. I Thank love that. you, Sherry. Thank Sherry, because love that. now, yeah, I. Have Enabler another problem. <laughs> oh, buddy. And that means we have to go to the mall. Yeah. So. And I, I really don't love the mall, but I'll go for that. <laughs> yeah, I think we can. Let's go in and out. <laughs> Done. Okay. It's almost school shopping time. Ugh. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like that either. Me. Kaka. Okay. So, your basic jute. We love jute. It's on everything anymore. So, jute, you can use on everything. I love jute. Love jute. We talked about trims, any trims you have around the house, or even like if you've ripped apart an old dress or an old shirt. We keep everything. So, you know, lace um, is fabulous from curtains. I don't know. A lot of people had, um, you know, the older, the older curtains. I know my mother-in-law had a lot of it mm -hmm. and she gave me a whole huge bundle of all this lace. And if you just cut it up, it works fabulous right, too. Right, right. So, and old like placemats and table yes. runners, really old ones. They yep. have lots of good fabric and check, trims on those. Check the garage sales and your thrift sales. Yep. Right? Yeah. Oh yeah. We've got them. <laughs> so much from those as well. <laughs> That's another thing that Nidge loves. Yeah. Oh. Okay, I love it too. But love so many things. <sighs> yes. Okay. And then, of course, always you know, different adhesives work different ways. Yes. So just make sure you find your favorite ones that work the best. Like you'll see, we've kind of used three different ones today. We used the decoupage, used the three in one, and even on a couple things, we used the mixed media. So, and these are all beacon blue. Yes, beacon adhesive. You know, all of them. Amazing, amazing stuff right and, there. And the paints too, all Deco Art Americana, but three different kinds. So just basic acrylic, glossy enamels, and the multi-surface satins. So yes. everything. And then luster. Oh, the luster. Yes. Yep. Here. And I have to say this too, you guys. We we told you where you can get your paint. The glue is the exact same way. Mm -hmm. It's not hard to find. It is no. everywhere. It's everywhere. Everywhere so, in the adhesive dial, you yes. can get the beacon adhesive, basically. Yes. Yes. And it lasts a very long time. So do it. Do more, it. Do it. More charms from another place. You know, whatever. It's a good Oops. place also to use your paper scraps because, like, I mean, I didn't use big pieces on these bottles, but save your scraps. I do. She laughs at me. I save even little scraps. It's okay. I have a box full of them, too. <laughs> I do. All right. Okay. Fine. Hey. Okay. So, and knobs. I bought a whole box full of knobs. Um, just at like Hobby Lobby and those other places. We mm -hmm. found these ones at Michael's in the what dollar fifty bin. It was a dollar. Yeah, they were. They I mean, were $1. super 50. cheap knobs, and they look cute on everything. You can even make little racks and stuff, which we'll do that later too. Yeah, <laughs> but, so many fun things. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to this. I'm gonna need that glue. So let's go like this this time. Perfect. Okay, and I have just this cute little metal charm that I'm gonna stick in the middle of my bottle. But maybe I want to wrap first. I can't really decide. Yeah, this is your thing. I'll try. Sister. I'll glue this on, and we'll All see. Right. What All right. All right. We'll give it a go. And I'm going to use the three-in-one glue on this also. 
this little charmy here. But I don't like this. Um, you guys, most of the charms come with these little hook things like you were going to put on a necklace. Like I the usually, jump ring kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, the jump rings. Thank you for that technical term. I don't do that very often, but you're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but I like to, I usually rip mine off. You can leave them on if you want a little, but I rip them off because sometimes they make your things not lay flat. Mm -hmm. So that's why I did it. That is a top tip. Top tip right there. Yes. And then I'm just going to glue. Super duper. And just real quick around the rim, around the rim, or ring around the rosies, whatever. whatever. Madge, usually you seem to fill the time. I'm not sure why they're <laughs> lacking in the entertainment department today, I but. Told you, I haven't finished that sheesh. Sheesh. Diet Coke. Well, My go gracious. put some coffee I, in your veins, maybe, sister. Maybe I can do this. It might be rude to do it on air, but I'm, maybe I can just do this you real can. quick. You can have a sip like of this. your DC. See, it's right here. Done. Hot bananas. There it is. Just had to have a little, a little Diet Coke to wet my whistle. <laughs> now she's ready, folks. I'm ready. She <laughs> is ready for action. We love it. Hey, Natalie. I'm so glad you could join us. We're so excited that you're here. Um, I don't know how long you've been here, Natalie, but just as a recap, what we're doing is why buy a designer bottle when you can make your own. And right now, Midge is showing us um, the different ways that you can make a bottle. She's actually decorating one, and um, it is beautiful. I have to say this. I am loving every minute. Um, we're using... I have to time out here. Time out. Madge makes some really, really beautiful bottles, but we decided we wanted these ones more like fast and everyday-ish, but... <laughs> She's too kind. So these are more everyday bottles. For the more elegant, beautiful bottles, please tune in at another time. <laughs> no, these are beautiful bottles, and we love them. And I have to say, we, um, that was very nice to, to say, friend, but um, we are using a couple different types of paint from Deco Art to show you the different variations um, of a bottle, I guess, what they, what they look like. Is that right? Am mm -hmm. I saying what I need? Yeah, I will tell, I'll go over them again really quick. Okay. Yes, please okay. do. I used coral blush for this one. It's just plain old acrylic paint from Deco Art Americana. For this bottle, I used just two quick coats of the gloss enamel in the gold. I think it's just plain gold. Yep, plain yes. gold. Yes. Yep. And Madge, on her beautiful bottle, used ballerina in the multi-surface satin. And then for my, this one that we did, Beep, and we tried it on a frosted bottle too. I used the soft jade, and it's also the multi-surface. Right. So we use three different kinds of paints on our projects. From hey, project. Rhonda, you did, you got it, Jay and Jake. <gasps> Good, you job. are the winner. You are super yes. investigator. So not only is it Mindy and Mandy, it's <laughs> Jay and Jake. So Mindy and Jay, Mandy and Jake, <laughs> and it's okay. It's okay. We love that, and you know what? They're even friends. On top they are. of all that. Yeah. They are friends. They're hunting buddies. You know what? We love that because when they're hunting, we're crafting. <laughs> and so it works perfect. And when they're at work, we're crafting. And when they're at work, we're crafting. Right. And, and have fun going on an adventure. <laughs> yep. Okay. I decided I want to throw a little trim down here too. So I'm going to use the same trim that I used on the top down here. Beautiful. Just going to grab my three in one glue again and do a straight strip. Yes. Just really quick. And then I'll put the knob on and we'll basically be done. Folks. You know what? I love that. And I have to say, I wish that we could have an above camera um, as well. So we could do camera one, camera two. Kind of like camera one, camera two. One oh, day maybe I that will be in, that in our budget. But, but I, I, it could be in our budget. We'll have to figure that out. But I don't know if we can do that on Facebook Live. But maybe. So we're going to keep working on that. So for now, we hope that you're able to see everything okay. Um, and... You can, you're following along with us. If you guys are watching also, you that are watching, if you notice um, if us freezing or if you notice an echo or something, please let us know in the comments because we really would like to fix it so we can do future mingles live on Facebook all the time. Right? Live! Because we, we love that. We think that that's what we'd really like to go towards. Yes, and we're loving the hearts. You know what, you guys? We feel so loved. So we sure appreciate we it. We big thank love you. you back. Thank you, thank you. And the thumbs up. Are you okay with this? I am okay with this. Okay. Glue that bad boy okay. on. Last step, I think. I think we're pretty much done. Is I'm just going to glue this cute knob that we got for dirt cheap. 
up on the top. And I'm using the three in one again, because this has been our go-to glue on this it one, is. basically. I did use a little mixed media, but I'm sticking with this one. And I'm just gonna do around, I stole this knob from Madge, I'm not gonna lie. I have a whole box of knobs in my house, so I'll pay her back. <laughs> I'm not too worried. <laughs> I, she might have saw that scared, worried look on my face, like, but no, I'm not worried. And just plop it in. You missed my funny face that I pulled. I'm just, I'm sure just I did. throwing it out there. And I'm not going to touch it because I don't okay. want it, because like I did. I with think mine. that's beautiful. Okay, so bam, that bottle. And it was like $23 at the store. So I just saved myself a lot of money. You did. A thanks lot to Madge, of money. Thanks to Madge a slapping my wrist at the store and making me put it back on the shelf and have a frowny face, I now have a bottle for even And cheaper. now she has a smile on her face because she doesn't only just have one expensive designer bottle. She has several designer bottles. I do. That she made. I do. And they're truly one of a kind and they're unique. And I can say that I did it. 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 Oh, no, that's my buddy. Oh, that's my buddy. <laughs> well, I still. <laughs> my buddy. <laughs> Bye, buddy. Oh. Okay, so does anyone have any questions for us? It can be about anything. And then, if not, I'm going to go over a super quick, we're just going to go, I know we have a lot, but I'm going to go over everything we used really quick. Okay. One more time. So let's give just a couple minutes. Okay, okay. not even minutes. Just a couple seconds. Okay. Because I know that there's a little bit of a delay. Delay. Small so, delay. So um, now is the time. Should I just go over what we used? And then if there's a question, I can we can answer it? Yes. Okay. Yes, I'll interrupt you. Go ahead. All right, super. Okay, bottles. All of our bottles, except this little teeny tiny one, but it was only a dollar. All of our bottles are repurposed. If you need a bottle, come see us. Let's see. Maybe should we <laughs> do this? Let's do this behind. And let's put the bottles right. Okay. So you can see maybe like right there. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And let's put your little guy up. Let's put your little guy up here so we can see okay. your little one. There's a little one. Yes. Okay. And then this is going to be one as well, but it's not yet. It's not quite dry yet, but it's going to be one. We were just showing you the paint. Okay. Perfect. So bottles repurposed because we're cheap and everyone else should be too. Yes. Then we used the Americana Deco Art paint, three different kinds. We used the glossy enamel in gold. <laughs> yes. We used the multi-surface satin in ballerina and also in the soft jade. Yes. Then we use just the regular ac acrylic, just yes. the acrylic Deco Art Americana in the coral blush, which I love. Yes. So there's the paints. We covered the paints. Madge also used it, um, some of the metallic luster in the, is it coral? It is. It's called it's coral. coral. Mm -hmm. And I'm probably coral. going to go get some of the gold also and maybe brush a little on my bottles when I'm all the way done because yes. you can never have too much gold. No. Then we use random charms, and we got a good tip from Sherry. Claire's you, in the 10 for 10 basket. I can't wait to go. I can't believe we never thought about that. What I, is our problem? I don't know. But charms can come from everywhere, or even like like we said, the vintage cells, antique cells. That's where you can get trims, charms, whatever, just on the very, very, very cheap. Yes. Then, what else did we use? We used a little bit of the adhesive, the Beacon Adhesives Mixed Media Glue. Yes. A little bit of that. We used a lot of the three in one, the beacon is three in one. That's our favorite. If I could, if I could have an emoji clapping yes. little sign. If, if we had to choose one adhesive, it would be the 